excuse me. <laughs> uh, here we are. Today, I'm going to finally get around to doing a review of my YouTube camera. All right. Okay. Uh, what I have here is a Nikon Copix L27 point and shoot digital camera. Uh, this is this is the camera that I made the vast majority of my YouTube videos with. Right, with uh, other videos, um, I don't know, a couple of thousand photographs on there. Yeah, for my website, joedrip.com, you know what I'm saying? Uh, this has been the camera that I use. See, look. Yeah. There I am. Uh, anyways, uh, this one is a, it's, as you can see, it's a point and shoot, it's a digital. It's got 16.1 megapixel lens, right? 5x optical zoom. Right, it's got a CCD sensor, it's got X speed CT sensor, and uh, it uses AA batteries. And inside the battery tray, as you can see, I got a little, is the SD card slot. Right, what comes with the camera is a two gigabyte SD card and uh, one of those little adapter things that you can use the little micro SD card if you want. You don't get a micro SD card with it, but you get the adapter. <laughs> Go figure, right? Um, it's got the little metal, this one actually has a metal screw-in tripod mount so you can, for, my, for your tripod. Uh, a lot of these little Nikon Copix cameras, the little digital point and shoot ones, they have a plastic insert right here, so you got to be really careful. Right? It's also got the port right here for the USB on this right here on the bottom next to the camp, next to the tripod mount there's a little port for the USB that you just plug in and then supplied with your camera is, is you know is the cable right it's regular USB right plug in your computer download you know what I'm saying there you go right. this has been a very really good solid little camera oh yeah, I forgot it's got the built in flash you know what I'm saying and uh, here, let's, let's just go through all the features with it. You gotta turn it on though. Uh, it's got, uh, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 15. It's got 18 different scene settings. You know what I'm saying? It's got auto auto focus mode, auto shoot mode. It's got all kinds of different modes, right? Uh, the, the control is on it right here, right here. This is the little circle pad with the OK button in the middle, you know, for your reviewing. Right, when you want to select one of these, you, you do the arrow thing, and it goes over, and then you go up or down, and you select whichever scene you're looking for. Indoor party, backlit, beach, museum quality. You know, there's, there's like I said, there's 18 different settings. Right, and then, th then these two buttons right here, this button right here is your menu button. It takes you back to the screen, and it gives you, you know, all of the different menu options that are on the screen. This one is your, this one allows you, this button here allows you to review, the, as you can see, there's nothing on it right now, but it allows you to review the photographs or the videos that you have stored on the card. And then these two buttons down here, this this one is the charge button that it allows you to delete. And this one is the main menu button, right? You click this one for the main menu and it takes you into the into the operating system of the camera so that you can, you know, set the, the pixelations and all that stuff, whatever you want to do. Right, now, on the top, it's got the trigger button to take the camera, and this is the on-off button. And then this little thing here that's around the trigger button, you can barely you can see it right there, right? That's the optical zoom in and out, right? Now, uh, oh, and I forgot. And this button right here, this little red one with the red dot, that's the record button for the video. It, it really cool, right? Depending on the SD card that you can put in there, you know, you, I've, I've made videos... I think the longest video I made was this thing so far before the batteries absolutely died was like, oh, 55 minutes or so. Remember, it uses two AA batteries. This is not a rechargeable battery camera, right? Uh, I like this little thing. This thing is awesome. And it, 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 it has its problems. I've had it for a year now. And like I said, the vast majority of the videos that I have on my YouTube channel I made with this, right? So now it's starting to experience its, its problems because I didn't get the little case with it, you understand? This was given to me, you know, as a gift for my birthday, right? You know, last year. And so I was just given the camera and the cord and the SD card, you know what I'm saying? And, and I was doing really good. Uh, later on, I discovered that they, they paid $65 for this camera at Walmart. So, yeah. And they're a little bit more expensive, up and down, round and round. But $60, $65 seems to be about the average. In England, I think they sell them for 55 pounds. I think that's what I read somewhere. So anyway, so I've been carrying it around in this little case, right, in my backpack. And uh, I got this little 
Italian tripod, you know, with it. And it's all dirty and greasy from doing speeder bike videos, but you know, this thing was really cool too, right? Uh, but now it's starting to experience its issues, right? I mean, like one of the main issues it is experiences is, is that the autofocus on the macro setting is going out. It, it zooms in, it, it, it focuses in, it focuses out, it focuses in, it focuses out. You know what I'm saying? Bear, the only way that I can get that not to happen is to take the setting off of macro. So, so like I, I just can't set it up on my little tripod and you know do something really close right here. I have to take it off of macro and then I have to choose one of the scene settings. Usually the one I choose is either party indoors or backlit outdoors. That way I get the clearest video image that I possibly can, right? But if I try to leave it on macro, you know what I'm saying, and do an up close video, then it you know it does the in and out thing and it loses the whole. If, if you look at a couple of my different videos on YouTube, you, know, you can just about pinpoint when it started acting up, right? But other than that, I mean, this it's lightweight. You know, it's pretty durable. It's got a 2.7 inch, you know, 2.7 inch diagonal LCD screen, right? It's fairly decent resolution. Um, it's got a speaker here for the output, and it's got a microphone speaker hole here and then it's got its C C C C C D sensor thing is right here, you know what I'm saying for the pictures. Um one of the things that really went wrong with it right, you know, that was first like, you know, a month or two ago, was the sound went out on it, right? One day uh, I, I don't know what happened, but I think the little speaker or something in the little speaker on this side I think somehow, some way, it got came detached or something, or came unplugged, and and the sound is really choppy when you were playing it back or reviewing your videos, right? And then then one day it just quit. So, but but it, but it still records audio, right? I'm, when I download the videos onto my camera, it still records them, and it's still it's still a really good camera. This overall, this has been a seriously good little camera for me. I mean, it taught me a lot of stuff. Excuse me. I learned how to become a videographer with this little camera. Would I recommend you buy one of these little cameras? You dang right. You know what? Because this not, not only is this good for being a YouTube camera, this camera is great for vacation shots, for personal shots. Put it in your shirt pocket, wander off to the mall. You know and have your girlfriend throws it in her purse, or you can keep it in the dashboard of your car whenever you need to grab a camera, point and shoot. It's very stable. It's very cool. It has a really good the 5x optical zoom. Hey, take a look at some of my videos. I zoom in, in and out and send, right? And check it out. This is the coolest part, right? Be, because, be, because it doesn't make a lot of noise and because it's not very intrusive, but because the light, the flash is, you know, only on when you want to, you can stick it down there in your dog's face and this thing is animal friendly, right? Or they, they sniff it, they look at it, they know, they know it's a camera, they know they're going to get their picture taken, but it's not this great big gigantic scary thing that this thing's going to freak them out. The Nikon Coolpix L27 point and shoot digital camera. Is it worth this money? Yes. Do I recommend you buy one if you need one? Yes. Would I buy another one? You know what? I'm buying the next higher upgraded model of this one. Right? The It's the, what was the name of it, babe? The 6600? The S6600? Nikon Coolpix. That's the next one in line for this. And then there's the 6900, then there's the 7000. They're coming out different colors. You get silver, you get gray, you get white, you get black, you get pink, you get orange. I think there's even a lime green one. You know what I'm saying? In there somewhere. What? Right? Coolpix L27 by Nikon. Thank you.